All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Survive Russia and welcome to a very short video. We're going to do a short video today here because I'm actually leaving tonight. I am going out on a very important assignment. I might be able to tell you about later. Who knows? But uh, what we're also going to do today is, uh, of course, we're going to take a look at the weirdest birthday present I have ever received. I got it from Slava, my engineer friend. And uh, yeah, it's a weird present. I said I'm heading out of here tonight, so I'm a little bit busy gathering all my stuff. So everything's going to be on one camera and uh, one moron here and so on and so on. And in one location. But uh, yeah, it should take about a week's time or something. We'll see. And... Uh, then we'll get back and uh, most likely the weather will be a little bit better because it's been horrible lately. But thank you very much to you guys who have supported the, the mysterious project. I have not really uh, announced yet what it is, but uh, especially two guys, both their names starts with a D. You, you have been helping out the project a lot and uh, that is super awesome because that's something like that what we need. <laughs> so anyway, to speed up the project here. But uh, this bike guy has been guys in Norway and whatever, right, who's been supporting. So uh, thank you very much for that, guys. I most likely announce the project when I come back because uh, my father taught me that uh, you should never sell the skin of the bear before the bear has been shot. Sort of like something like that along those lines. And uh, that saying has uh, proved itself right many a times. But when I come back, I will, of course, announce the project. It's going to be pretty darn Awesome, but let's take a look at the weird birthday present here. <laughs> here we have it. A DP12. I can tell you that much that uh, this is right out of the Red Army. So uh, let's open it up and see what it is. I gave Slava as a birthday present a really nice DeWalt toolbox. Without tools, but it was quite expensive and quite nice. So he came and, uh, on my birthday and said, now he has a box for me. But let's see what's in it here. As I said, DP-12. This is right out of the Red Army. Da -da -da! This is actually a Geiger counter straight out of the Red Army. Everything is there. They are really, really hard to come by now, actually. We have the manuals. Opisania i Instruktia, SSSR. Do we have a year in this book here? We have all sorts of schemes and stuff. Another schematics. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So far I cannot find anything which tells anything about what year this guy is from. Now I'm pretty sure that some of you guys think, oh, Geiger counter. Maybe it is radioactive itself. But actually, Slava, he took the, he took the time and effort to go visit a guy where they actually checked it and uh, it's not radioactive. Well, here we have the probe. It has some different uh, adjustments. We can pull up this guy here. B2, B1, and G. Seriously cool is that here we actually have a piece of radioactive material for calibration, which you will put around this uh, sensor there and uh, calibrate the unit. Here we have some kind of a Kriplinje bracket. Most likely for holding this guy in place. Using this stick here, if it has to stand and measure something manually, or not manually, but uh, out in the field. But it opens up like this. It is, it's brand new. Of course, it's old, but it's brand new. Ah, 1966. It's from 1966. How cool is that? Instructions. And uh, here we have some, uh, let's say, here we have a testament to how battery technology has been developing over the years. Because here we have the battery compartment. And that's a quite big battery. 
but they changed it out with a Nokia cell phone battery. 3.7 volts, 8 watt amperes, but uh, unfortunately it has to be charged. I don't have anything radioactive here to play around with anyway. But uh, we actually have something we can use it for because we have, uh, me and Slava and some of the guys, we have planned to go to a, a location here during the summer. It's a, yeah, it's a location spun in myth, or what you can say, covered in myth. We have a kind of a lake in here, it's completely round, it's very, very, very deep and no banks, so to speak. It's just like a big hole. Some say it's uh, from a nuclear test blast, which I doubt. And others say it's from a meteorite, which I kind of believe. And Slava, he thinks that he have uh, found some evidence on the internet. He researched all sorts of stuff that uh, it actually should be from a, from a meteorite. But it's of course in the middle of the forest, super really difficult to reach and so on. But uh, we have a plan to go try and get there, either on motorbikes or in the gator or both at some point during the summer here. So guys, that was it for today. Check the links in the description. Please consider supporting the channel and uh, all that good stuff. There will be there's, uh, merchandise available and so on, so on, so on. So uh, yeah, until next time, get out and train, get it done, do something awesome. And uh, see you in the next video. Hopefully I can do a little bit of video on the trip here. But uh, we'll see about that. Other than that, maybe see you in a little bit more than a week's time. But keep an eye on uh, what's going on in the community tab and maybe on Instagram and so on. See you guys!